the next one i'm going to mention a lot of people would log out <laughs> a lot of people are going to leave this group chat hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bella and this is bella's perfume diaries if this is your first time of stumbling on this channel perfume diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle so if this is the kind of content you like click that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thank you for tuning in once again on this episode i'm going to be talking about 10 classy fragrance for my high value women so if you want to smell like a classy high value women then keep watching the first fragrance i'll be talking about is classic essence by john paul gautier i mean what's the essence of calling it classic if it doesn't make it to this list this is a beautiful white floral fragrance that has orange blossom in it i'm not really a fan of white floral fragrances but the orange blossom in this fragrance just gives it this classiness it has this ginger in it which gives it this spiciness and it has slight creaminess as well so there's um whipped cream in this fragrance there's vanilla in between all this white floral orange blossom creaminess is this airiness that smells clean this is an ultra feminine fragrance from the bottle already you know that this embodies femininity for a woman that loves to smell classy and chic this is classic essence by john paul gautier the second one i'll be talking about is one of my favorites and this is amani privé rouge malachite this is one of the most popular amani privés in this collection there's the vert malachite and there's the blue turquoise um recently there's um the pink one is called Ah, Prissy talks about that one a lot and I can't remember the name but out of all of them this is the one I've tried I've tried the blue tacos I don't like it and I'm really craving to try the green one which is the vert malachite and the pink one as well this is like a spicy tuberose fragrance it is very classy and smells kind of vintage as well it has tuberose and pink pepper at the top which gives it this spicy tuberose feel there's also a bunch of florals in this fragrance like jasmine tuberose lily that makes it stay floral all through so this is a floral fragrance if you don't like florals you might not love this but at the same time there's this vintage quality in the fragrance i won't say like coco mademoiselle uh, vintage this is more like a very classy vintage dated fragrance and it's at the same time very modern and very chic also there's a sweet coconut scent i smell in this it just lingers around the fragrance but it is not listed in the fragrance notes which is probably one of the things i really love about it there's orange blossom in this fragrance as well i'm beginning to think that orange blossom makes fragrances classy <laughs> if you see orange blossom in a fragrance just know that that fragrance is going to be classy i absolutely love this such a rich spicy tuberose fragrance really really amazing and sophisticated so that's rouge malachite by amani Privé. the next one i'll be talking about is rose 31 by le labo ha ah, god i first of all smells this fragrance with dossier and then one of my favorite influencers noye of this thing called fashion said that this is one of her favorite scents and when i smelled it i was like i get it i totally get it this fragrance is so chic it's so classy this is a rose scent rose 31 obviously but this is not a fresh rose this is not a sweet rose this is not the typical rose that you know about this is a rich musky rose it has some spiciness in the fragrance it gets slightly woody in the dry down but you still smell that rose which stays throughout the fragrance there's something classy and sophisticated about this fragrance it is very rich it's very elegant and it is very unique that is rose 31 by le labo <sighs> the next one i'll be talking about is my absolute favorite and that is libre by ysl this is a very modern classy scent out of all the ones i have mentioned please get this one get this one if you can't get all get this one 
enough of rose let's go to lavender lavender is known to have this calming effect on people which is what this scent is this is an airy modern scent it is a white floral fragrance with lavender it has jasmine it has orange blossom <laughs> what did i say about orange blossom it has vanilla and musk this is such an amazing modern chic fragrance for the fact that they made the bottle represent what the juice smells like this bottle is so classy it is airy it is elegant it is sexy it is intoxicating this fragrance is a must-have this fragrance is amazing oh, i can sniff this all day so that is why i sell lip edp the next one i'll be talking about is the most affordable from this range and that is fit avenue like if you have not used this fragrance before or you have not smelled this fragrance before or you don't even know about this fragrance you need to give me some respect because i'm not your mate i'm your mommy i'll be your mama oh. this fragrance is such an old fragrance but it is still a classic if you don't know about elizabeth arden perfumes where have you been Elizabeth Arden perfumes are such classic scents like for the fact that they are affordable and they are classy as well It's just mind-blowing. So this is Fifth Avenue by Elizabeth Arden. It's white floral. It's yellow floral I heard there's greenness in this fragrance, but I don't smell any Before I got this fragrance, I felt that it was going to smell like this old woman kind of fragrance But this is so modern <sighs> This fragrance has lime in it. I was expecting it to be like a fresh citrus lime, but that is not what this fragrance is. It gives it more like this sweetness in the top, which is really, really amazing. I think that's even one of the things I love most about this fragrance. So it starts off smelling very sweet and then it dries down into these beautiful soft florals. This is so intoxicating, so classy, so elegant. I was expecting this fragrance to smell like grandma considering that it has been in existence for as long like i think this fragrance is even older than me like it has been in existence for a very long time like really long but it still smells very modern and very classy such an amazing affordable classy scent so that is fifth avenue by elizabeth Arden. next one i'll be talking about is the queen of classy scents and that is coco mademoiselle by chanel if there's no chanel in this range then i don't know what i'm doing this is the queen of classic chic and sophistication and this perfume lasts forever it's a mixture of florals with orange blossom again and patchouli it smells vintage and earthy it has orange mandarin orange and orange blossom are you seeing the trend with orange i'll describe this fragrance as a classy orange earthy scent with that patchouli it is such a classic see coco mademoiselle will forever be a classic any chanel fragrance you have is a hit i'm not even going to lie but i would love to try the coco mademoiselle intense this is the coco mademoiselle edp the next one i'll be talking about is my baby my baby my absolute baby this is fenty by fenty rihanna's latest perfume this perfume is classy in a bottle this is a classy fruity earthy scent it has blueberries and tangerine in the top so that blueberry and tangerine just gives it this vibrance this brightness and this excitement in the fragrance it has some florals and musk as well it is so 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 stunning this fragrance is energizing and it is mouth watering it's very elegant in an exciting way rihanna goes all out see i have tried a couple of rihanna fragrances and trust me when i say this rihanna goes all out every rihanna's perfume is a hit back to back tell me one rihanna perfume you don't love i know i haven't tried all rihanna perfumes but most of rihanna perfumes i absolutely love them so that is fenty by fenty an amazing classic elegant fruity scent the next one i'm going to mention a lot of people would log out <laughs> a lot of people are going to leave this group chat they are going to off your phone but do i care i do not care that is black opium by ysl i don't care what you guys will say black opium would always be a classic scent 
in my collection forever and ever and ever this is a classic scent point blank period i should have even put this first because why not you can hate all you want but it doesn't change the fact that black opium is a classic and will always remain a classic this is orange blossom vanilla coffee spiciness this smells rich and sophisticated smells elegant smells amazing so that is black opium by YSL. the next one i'll be talking about is sweet diamond pink pepper this fragrance literally smells like the color of this bottle i don't know if you've ever felt like a fragrance smells like the color for example fresh fragrances are always blue this fragrance smells like the color pink it's a spicy rose fragrance with a little bit of sweetness and amber so that amber in it gives it depth it is absolutely stunning and sophisticated like ah, it smells like a very chic sophisticated lady that knows where she's heading she knows what she wants in life but at the same time she's very patient with herself very intentional about herself and it smells like a very rich you know sophisticated classy barbie so that is k ali's sweet diamond pink pepper 25. before i mention the last one i'm going to be giving an honorable mention to this fragrance just because i don't have the actual fragrance this is the dupe for it but this is rose of no man's land and it smells absolutely divine this is such a classy rose scent it's a fresh classy watery rose scent with a little bit of spiciness a little bit of rich musk you know the rich musk that is in santal 33 that's the rich musk that you get here added with those fresh florals this is absolutely beautiful and stunning this is so beautiful so elegant so classy that is rose of no man's land by byredo the last one on this list is from the house of haramein and this is junun noir this fragrance is said to be a do for dama bianca by zerjov i have heard so much about that fragrance i almost got it for myself but then they're like this one is a better alternative to dama bianca and they said it smells like it i don't like to have two fragrances that smell alike so i just decided to stick to this but this works this is so classy this fragrance smells like a fresh cut rose it has that kumquat and lime that makes it unique it gives it this unique quality in the fragrance it has some powderiness in it so this fragrance smells like a realistic flower it gives me the vibes of kenzo flower and i think it's more like a sexier version of kenzo flower so amazing so sexy and it has great projection this fragrance projects crazy into the room it lasts for days this is like one of my longest lasting feminine fragrances it is very sophisticated very amazing this might not be a love for everyone it wasn't a love at first sight to me but with time i just fell in love with it such a classy floral fragrance for women like an ultra feminine floral fragrance so so amazing so that is Juno Noir by the house of Harami so those are my 10 classy ultra feminine fragrances for women we are smelling like high value classy women in 2022 we are stepping up this year by looking like classy women smelling like classy women and acting like classy women do you have any classy fragrances in your collection let me know in the comments i would love to hear your recommendations i have more classy fragrances in my collection but these are like my top 10 unfortunately we've come to the end of this episode don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't drop a comment i'd love to connect with you in the comments thank you guys for tuning into bella's perfume diaries i'll be seeing you on my next episode bye